Hello, my name is Blago and welcome back. In this video, we'll do something interesting and something new for, for me and my channel. And we'll basically review this. This is, as you probably know, just a PCB. Uh, but first time in my short YouTube career, this is sponsored. So thank you for JLC PCB for sponsoring this. First, let's do couple. Uh, let's do short review, and then test the board and see did it make some mistakes and they managed to break something. But first, on unboxing. Okay, on unboxing. If you just open the box, uh, here I think it was well, well, well packed, and. Let's put the box set and let's see what we have here. Okay, so five same pieces, so I will take a look at only one. Good packing material. I will move this everything to the side. And now let's check only one example. So this is actually what I have ordered and this is uh, a small USB hacking device that is using ESP32 S2 uh, with HD functionality and that is important because with this we can uh, emulate uh, keyboard mouse presses and basically PC will see this device as as USB keyboard on the back end we have a simple circuit that is actually necessary for for this to work and one fully addressable RGB LED diode so, as you can see, this PCB came to me fully assembled and that is why I wanted to try to use uh, JLC PCB assembly uh, function and I think it went pretty well. So, you see a bit large panel, I think this was needed for, for uh, mounting purposes when, oh, sorry, when PCB was actually assembled, so for them to uh, have to have the possibility to, to place it inside the tool. So let's see now how how easily this can break off. So let's take a look at this one example, and all the others should be should be the same. I think the quality is actually excellent. So I don't know if you can see, and this will zoom. I think everything is up to part. So now, yeah, we just need to break off these sections because they were needed uh, when you want to place the components. So you need to place this into pick and place ma machine, and machine will actually place the components in. That's the same thing for the this side. So because I ordered two side assembly, this was a bit more expensive, but these parts were needed for this kind of assembly. So let's see how easily I can break this off. I prepared um, one pliers, but I think that I will try first uh, by hand and to see how, how, how easy it is to break off. Um, I'm looking for, for uh, for critical part that I would like to break off nicely and I would like to break off them first. So I would like to break off this part first and this part here as well. So hmm, let me try that. And if you can see this break off very nicely. So let's try this section here. Uh, you need to take care uh, because I left this, uh, this section with antenna uh, to be extended from PCB so I need to break on this side so let's let's see yeah this is much better and you can see what what I was talking about so my design is actually that that antenna of ESP32 is actually uh, extruding over PCB so we don't have any interference here. So that is by design. And now I think simply we can break off this, uh, this side pieces because yeah, they are not, not critical and voila. 
let's come around the zoom. We have our USB ESP32 S2 hacking device. This should be everything that you need. So this this is actually bare minimum development port, which you can use for, for example, ESP Now connection and HD functionality. So let me let me just plug it into PC and see what happens. Okay, nothing happens. And let let me show you. If I take my laptop here and I try to place USB inside. We can see that there is a little bit of a wiggle room, which I don't don't like. And especially if I want to if I want to place this inside if I want to place this inside my PC, that's again to a bit of a wiggle room. Let me show you. So let me show you. You see, there is a bit of wiggle room. So maybe what I needed is actually to, 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 to use ticker board, which is able uh, to, to be selected from JLC PCBs, but I think this is not a big deal because actually I can just take uh, some piece of paper and just apply it to this side, because again, this side so has has my log on it, but yeah, it's not uh, functional with functional importance. So either if I can do that, or maybe if even just I can apply a bunch of solder on these pads here, I think that I would I would uh, get much tighter fix. Uh, let me try to pad that back, and I will get back to you. And let's test with this piece of. Uh, cardboard cutout and I think this solution worked let me show you so maybe it's not ideal but we now don't have basically any wiggle room but let me check why my PC is detecting this ESP32 uh, I will try to add this one internet later but actually solution is pretty simple um, this is new ESP32 and on 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 it we don't have any code and currently and this this port isn't into in in uh, boot mode or download mode because i need to place it there of course but uh, the genius that i am and i wanted to actually actually uh, make this as efficient as possible i didn't put boot pins so what i did i actually i actually put this to uh, let's check camera just zoom these two pads here so for reset and for boot so if i want to reset this board i just need to shorten these two pads and if i want it to be in boot mode i need just to shorten these two pads so and at this point i think easiest thing for me is Easiest thing for me is let's zoom. Come on. Is just to uh, solder these two pads that uh, that's uh, boot uh, written below them, and I will be in the boot mode. Give me one second, and I will be back. Okay, and I think this this would be enough. So let's just let us use again cardboard insert and let's check do we have something. And it seems that something is happening. Let me open device manager. And exactly, okay, we see ESP32 S2. Okay, excellent. So our board is working. So in, I would now just like to try to compile a short example using uh, FastLD library in order for this, uh, this, this uh, uh, 
fully addressable RGB LED to work and uh, then I will desolder this connection that I made and try to run it. And I think that should be the first test is this, uh, let's say, board operational or not. Give me a couple of minutes in, uh, give me a couple of minutes in order to try this and I will be back. I downloaded uh, the program that... Uh, so, I downloaded the program that will blink uh, this LED out uh, blue and red and I desolder uh, our, our boot pin. So, now is the time for the truth. Is this working? So, I will just, because this should be uh, working on any any USB, I will try it without any any extensions, so I didn't add anything on it. I will try on my laptop and see if I have some power. Of course, laptops needs to be turned on. Okay, now I have power here. Let's check what is happening here. So, exactly what you see. The LED is blinking and this means that we have a working, working product. But if I just take a USB extension cable, I think that I can show you more nicely. So, there is still the problem. Uh, this needed to be a bit thicker for, for our application and this is my fault. I designed it poorly and I choose the, the regular, regular width of PCB, so that, that's completely my fault. But if you plug it inside, you need to just establish good connection and it will work. So if you can see, I need now to press it and it's working. But if I just can maybe take the, my useful piece of cardboard, new piece of carbon, USB on the bottom side, and now we just jam this in between. Okay, we have now good connection, and our device is blinking constantly. You see how, how small this is? I must admit, uh, I'm amazed that someone like me could develop something like this for, let's say, so cheap. Using basically open source KiKid and developing by JLC PCBs. Of course, if you want this uh, to be to be much, 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 much cheaper, you can uh, solder this, this component yourself. I opt out for this just to try uh, JLC PCB assembly. Uh, on both sides, so this is uh, two uh, two side uh, PCB assembly. So this was a bit more expensive, but but either way, for for this amount, of, uh, you have possibility to create something like this. This is now can be used for for hacking, so you can uh, connect with this through through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or with. ESP now, and you can send command to your PC with HID. So I think this is a very, very powerful device, which I can use now in the future project projects. And furthermore, if you take a look, I have one, I have two, and I have three more that is, that is not even uh, broken out. I think all of them, the quality are basically spotless, but I will keep you updated and again I would like to thank to Jelsey PCB for giving me this opportunity to create some cool project like this because yeah for this I, if I did this on my own I would probably struggle and waste time on soldering everything and maybe buying one or two, not not five. So I think with this, I can dedicate some of them for for ESP now projects, hacking devices, and I can have, for example, one one as, for example, 
USB dongle for wireless uh, ESP32 based keyboard that I'm also designing and yeah maybe these two can be used as uh, wireless scan bridge knows but uh, the possibi possibility I think with this basic setup are endless and yeah that's it for uh, this video so, so take care enjoy and probably I will, I will now create a couple of videos in which I actually program this because the, this I did over the camera and just to test functionality so I will probably did some hacking uh, PC hacking and ESP now communication with this and then let's see how how all mechanical keyboard uh, is progressing but I think this is excellent first step uh, step and yeah thank you again for just a piece of